Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Michaela, and I make diamond painting videos here on this channel and today I am doing my top 10 most anticipated to work on diamond painting kits. <laughs> Basically I'm gonna go through my top 10 kits in my stash that I'm the most excited to work on. This was like really incredibly difficult for me to narrow down to 10. Um, I have a pretty decent stash and I'm excited about all of them. Obviously some more than others, feel like that's normal, but it's just like, oh, this was a hard to narrow down. Um, so I picked my top 10 as of right now. This could easily change. Um, honestly, in the matter of like an hour, I could be like, mm, you know what, that one, you're off the list. We're putting this on instead. As of right now, <laughs> uh, after scrolling through my Gems Flow app, I picked my top 10 and I'm very excited to show, uh, share them with you guys. What I'll do is um, name off the kit and insert a picture of the thumbnail so you guys can see the artwork. Most of these are still available to get. Um, a lot of them are out of stock, so they're not currently available to get. I think one of them is um, archived now. I don't think any other ones are archived though. I think just one of them is archived. Um, there are a couple that might be in stock, but for the most part, all of them are out of stock, but still available. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get right on into it. Okay, so the first piece I have is Halloween Night by Aria Illustration. This piece came out uh, during the Halloween, like big Halloween release last year from Diamond Art Club. And uh, she stood out to me right away. I love her so, so much. Um, I worked on Luna Moth Witch by Aria Illustration last year. One of my favorite pieces, and I I don't know, maybe it had to do with the mint green of the piece, but I just thought the, the girl was gorgeous. Um, I love kind of any and all artwork that she comes out with. I just think it's always so stunning. And I'm also just a really big fan of like pumpkins and fall time in general. Um, and the fact that this girl has purple hair because, okay, I've mentioned this before, I also have purple hair, but like it's kind of looking really, really bad now, so. But like, I have like purple highlights, not like purple hair like she does, but like, um, yeah, I just think this one is so adorable and I'm very excited to work on it. I'm kind of thinking this might be my Halloween kit I work on this year. We will decide later for sure, but um, oh, this one is just so gorgeous and I'm really excited to work on her. I just think like, it, it has like a lot of dark colors for sure, but I feel like there are just so many brights as well. It's just gonna look so good once it's done, but that is the first kit and then the next one I have and also I should just mention I'm sorry I should just mention this is in no particular order I don't even know like how I would necessarily rank these this is just like when I was scrolling through my app I'm like oh this one and this one and this one it's not, not really in a particular order number two <laughs> on the list Rose Library by Ivy Dolamore this was a piece I was waiting to get released from Diamond Art Club and I figured it would come eventually and they did release it in December. I am very skeptical to work on it because, because I want like, I want it to be like the perfect time to work on it, you know? So I'm considering this one for my Ivy Dolomore diamond paint along event. Diamond paint along event, I can't talk. Um, I'm, I'm considering it for it. Um, it's also huge, so like, that's a, that's a thing. I like big diamond paintings, but of course it's something to take into consideration. Overall, this painting in general is just so fun and I love all of the books in the background. I love reading um, and I just love all the witchy vibes and the cats. And I'm, not, I'm not the biggest cat person, but I think it just works in the vibe of this picture. Um, it's just really stunning and yeah, we will see maybe if that's the piece I end up doing in May or not. That is that one. And then the next piece I have is Tropical Landscape by Image World. When this one came out, it came out right before the Black Friday releases last year. This one, it took me by surprise. And you know, I don't even know why because I use, I really love Image World landscapes. Um, so this one should have just kind of been a no brainer, but like I was watching the sneak peek and the colors on this kit or everything. Like I think this probably is my top image world landscape that I own, which is saying something because for a while it was House on the Cliff, which I also still like love love. But like this one's incredible too and the colors in it are just so bright and vibrant. This is one for sure I want to get to very very soon. But who knows if it'll happen, but I really love the colors on it a ton. The colors really in this one are what get me. So yeah, that is tropical landscape and then the next one I have is Under the Stairs by Yume Art. I 
this piece of artwork again very similar to rose library is just so it's such a mood it's such an aesthetic and i love it a lot i love all the books i love that she's reading i um i just love everything about it and i've seen some people work on this piece in the diamond art club vip facebook group and it's just stunning honestly i cannot wait to work on this it's one of those pieces again where i'm like ooh, i want to do it, but i want to make sure it's the right time who knows when that time will be <laughs> but i'm hoping like soon ish right oh, but i really really like her i think she's very cute and the image is just so wonderful and then going on to number five i have cinderella's castle by ruth sanderson I think it's Ruth Sanderson. Um, this is actually a Dreamer Designs piece and this is in my opinion the closest thing I'm gonna get to a Disney diamond painting from any diamond painting companies at this point just because Disney is such a hard licensing like a license to come by um, and this one is incredible and I love I just love Cinderella's Castle so much it just makes me so happy to look at. Um, this is probably it's actually the only dreamer designs on this list um and it's definitely definitely one of those that like I, like I, I don't know i want to say it's one of those again where i just like want to savor it you know um oh this is it's just really really stunning and again the closest thing you're probably going to get to a disney diamond painting that's like still available is probably this um i highly recommend picking it up um obviously i haven't done it but like i love dreamer designs um i've done one of their canvases before loved the process it was amazing um so yeah I'm excited to work on this one for sure hopefully hopefully soon um but anyways the next one I have is Mermaid Bedroom by Mrs. Butter D. I wasn't fully expecting this one to make the list but the more I look at it the colors on this canvas are just everything to me. I think this is probably just one of the brightest, most pastel color palettes ever. It's so, so pretty. And it's in squares, which if you guys don't know, I have a very big preference to squares over rounds. Do I hate rounds? Of course not. I just have a very strong preference towards squares. And I just think she's so cute. And I love like the like seahorse and like little octopus. And I just think like there's so many like little details in this while not being super like overwhelming like a typical like landscape could be. So like I, I just like that aspect of it. And all the colors are just so bright and vibrant. And it's definitely a piece I'm really looking forward to working on. Um, and then moving on to number seven, I have Love Bard by Rosie Scribbles. This was one that came out this year during their Valentine's Day release and another one that like kind of <laughs> kind of took me aback to begin with and i just love i love her vibe i love all the pinks i love it gives like almost um a video game aesthetic in a way and i don't game that often but i do enjoy gaming when i do it just gives like video game vibes and i don't know what it is about it but i love it i love <laughs> i love everything about her i've seen this is another piece i have seen a lot of people work on recently and she just looks so good. Honestly though, you can't really go wrong with like anything from like Diamond Art Club Dreamer Designs. Everything really does turn out good regardless of what you're doing. Um, but I just so, I just love her so much. And one of these days, one of these days, right? I'll, I'll work on her, but yeah, that is Love Bard. And then another one, another one that kind of took me by surprise. Where's the shock? We have Little Lizard Garden by Rose Catherine Kahn. This is one that when I first saw the sneak peek, I w or not the sneak peek, but like when they showed it on Facebook and Instagram, I was like, oh my gosh, that's super duper pretty. And then I like was watching the sneak peek and I realized just how many like kind of greenish mint green colors were in it. If you guys don't know, that's my favorite color. And I was like, I need this. And it's so pretty. Oh my God. I feel like this is going to be so, so gorgeous when it's done. I'm kind of thinking like once I finish it, I kind of want to hang it up behind my couch. I feel like that could look kind of nice. Um, this one is just honestly so stunning and I like really want to see this one complete by somebody. Um, but honestly, I feel like you won't even get the full effect until you finish it in person. Um, I feel like that's just obviously the best is when you see it in person, but I really, really like this one and it's definitely one that I want to work on soon. This is my this is my expression with all of them. I want to work on it soon. Um, but I really like it though. 
And then number nine, I technically have two of them here because they're both by the same artist and I just couldn't pick which one, which one I liked more because I think they both are good for their own reasons. So we have Inside a Fairy's Dream and Fantastical Forest by Becca Tyndall. Fantastical Forest is a newer release. Um, it, I think was last week um, with the new releases. Both of them, they give me very similar vibes, right? Becca Tyndall stuff is very, very like outer spacey, magical, whimsical, fun. Um, I like them both for different reasons, which is why I couldn't pick. So we're just throwing them both, throwing them both here in the same spot. But um, Inside is Fairy's Dream has some beautiful warm tones mixed in. Um, and I feel like Fantastical Forest doesn't have as many warm tones. Um, you know, honestly, they're both just really good for different reasons, and I'm excited to work on both for sure. Fantastical Forest has a lot of, like, I think more confetti, actually. I mean, they both probably have a lot of confetti, but I feel like Fantastical Forest probably has more. I guess I don't know. Um, but anyways, yeah, those are my number nine, nine spot, and we're just making them one. And then the last one is Jewel of the Sea by Hannah Lynn. This is the one piece that unfortunately is no longer being carried with Diamond Art Club. Um, if you guys run aware, I've talked about this a couple times in past videos. Um, go check them out if you want to hear more about it. But Hannah Lynn is not renewing her license with Diamond Art Club. Um, so this piece is currently archived, but if you're really, really interested, you could check out D-Stash Facebook groups and see if they have it. Um, I was very excited for this one when it released. I just love all of the colors in this one. If you guys couldn't see a theme here, I love color, okay? Like, listen, I'm okay with some neutral pieces sometimes for sure. I'm currently working on Beauty and Chaos from Unimade. It's a very, actually, I'll show you guys. I have the original artwork right here. This is the color palette I'm currently working with. Uh, very, very brown heavy for sure, brown and orange heavy. So um, I don't mind having some, some of that in that, but... I really love her. I think she's gorgeous. Again, love the purple hair. And I love all the detail in that picture so, so much. I just think it's stunning. But anyways, you guys, that is it for this fun little quick video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments, what is your top, I don't know, your top three most anticipated kits to work on? Um, are you savoring them? Are you planning on working on them right away? Let me know in the comments. Also, let me know in the comments if I should work on that Ivy Dolomore piece during my event or if I should go with maybe like a not so big one and save the other one for a different time. I don't know. Let me know in the comments because I am struggling. I have no idea. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below if you're not already. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye, guys.